So the Roman versus Carthaginian battle of Cannae, it kind of explains a lot of what society is as well. Let me explain. So the Romans, Hannibal knew if he placed two stronger units to the left and right flank of this formation, they could hold and possibly even push forward. He placed his weaker, weaker forces in the middle so that the Romans could probably push them back. So as the Romans pushed back the weaker forces of Hannibal, they fought hard, they kept on fighting, fighting. And, and for the Romans, as long as they're moving forward, they're winning. So the Romans, just by mentality, moving forward, 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 they're like, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning. And as they move forward more and more, their flanks are encompassed by Hannibal's veteran troops, to where eventually they're encompassed on all sides. So while the Roman soldiers thought they were winning the whole time, they eventually got to a point where they're like, oh, we're trapped. Not only were they trapped, they were they were boxed in in a way that they really never had expected or experienced. So them being boxed in, them being forced to be very, very situated in their, wherever they were, boxed into where they could barely swing their swords, their swords, and being pressed into that and being fought into that scent, that scent, um, they basically were slaughtered because of their compactness and because they thought they were winning the whole time. So, from this ancient battle, how am I going to address its relation to society? Human society views itself as moving forward if, you know, we have a capitalistic mindset of if we're, you know, producing more, uh, we're, we're meeting the consumer demand. We're meeting the demand of the populace, and the demand increases based on either quality or based on the, the number increasing. So we're, we're, we're allowing consumption to exist to greater and greater degrees for whatever reason. So are there, there are some obvious ones, like the population or uh, the desire for more goods. So we're moving forward. The problem is we're being boxed in by two things. One. One side of the box in is the earth itself. It's not going to be able to contain our level of consumption for very long. It's not going to be able to support it for very long. The other, the other veteran unit, if you will, is re devaluing our existence to such a degree that as individuals, we're gonna have less and less enthusiasm for the system that we find ourselves in because we thought a consumption would complete us, but it does not. Now, what forms the back part? Now, what is the back wall? We're moving forward. We're fighting the enemy of time itself, of our own inability to move forward. We're working through what we feel is the nature of existence, which is comfort, which is ease, which is scientific understanding, which is an ability to understand ourselves psychologically. All these things matter. We're moving forward in equality, in the allowance that we have among ourselves to appreciate one another. But, and all of that is very important, but what is on the back cap is the blindness that our conceived future decides that we must see. We conceive a future that we can only feel like we are achieving through moving forward. But the thing is, we are moving forward. So all of these walls and the future that even we conceive being on the back end, that is the final wall is narrowing us into a place where because of our lack of realization we will be unable to strike at any of these walls or address any of these walls once we get to a certain point 
And since these walls are driving us into one space where we cannot do anything, we can only decide upon our progress and measure our progress and decide if we should move forward in the same way that we have moved forward. Once we truly address, address ourselves, both materially, spiritually, um, economically, uh, environmentally, once we have multiple aspects that are forced upon us to realize because that is the need, I feel it might be too late. But if we understand ourselves through various means, through various aspects, then perhaps we still have a chance. And I think as a human, we at least deserve a chance. Thank you very much for watching. The fire of our lives could die, but I think that it won't.